Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So here we are in 2024 and this is my first video for the new year. I hope you all had a good Christmas and a good new year. I definitely did, it's been a lovely break for me and I'm really excited to get back into filming videos. So obviously I wanted my first video to be my Christmas gift haul and my new year's resolutions. I know this is a little bit late, I should have probably filmed this between Christmas and new year, but I decided to have a longer break during then because that is the only time of year that I get to have a break because I'm usually so busy with content. I like being busy, I like to organise myself, I like to have goals to work towards throughout the year so I am really excited to be back and to start filming for my YouTube channel again. So yeah this is going to be a late Christmas gift haul and I have got a lot of these presents out already that like you could probably guess that some of these are going to be makeup products which I have already used and tried so I'm really sorry about that but I just get so excited excited about trying out my presents I usually try them on the day or on like boxing day like most people do but yeah this is gonna be a Christmas gift haul and we're also gonna do a quick little thing on New Year's resolutions towards the end of the video so yeah I'm really excited for today's video and I'm really excited to be back I hope you're all doing well and let's get right into the video So the first gift that I got was this huge squishy teddy, this black cat teddy. It's a bit like a squishmallow, it has that sort of texture but my mum told me that she got this from AliExpress and it's just so cute, it's a lovely lovely pillow and also it's just super cuddly and cute, I love it so much. This is just my black cat squish and it is the cutest thing ever. The next thing that I got was from my brother and it's all in this bag and it's Lush Bath Bombs. I've already used like three of my Lush bath bombs. I'll try and find some pictures of them and put them on the screen for you right now but I don't think I took pictures of all of them but he got me a ton of Christmas bath bombs from Lush. I absolutely love Lush and I love their bath bombs especially the Christmas ones they do some really nice scents at Christmas but I still have a lot to go through here he did get me like I said he did get me a lot and I'll show you the ones that I've still got left but if I have any pictures of the ones that I have tried I'll put them on the screen right now for you guys this is one of the ones that he got me and I'm pretty sure this is a snow fairy bath bomb from Lush I'm not really super into like their scents like some people are like oh I really love blah blah scent from Lush I I'm not really that kind of person I just like the look of the bath bomb because they look so cute if you know what I mean and it looks really really nice right but I didn't know that it did this the top comes off of it yeah it's got like little tiny bath bombs inside this huge bath bomb and I've sort of been saving this one because it just looks so cute and I, I don't want to use it because of how cute it looks but it smells lovely and it's very sparkly and I love sparkly bath bombs as well. It just makes the bath feel really luxurious. My camera's having a really hard time focusing on these. There's this gingerbread one and it's like a yellow bath bomb but it has gold sparkles on it. And I think this is a bubble bar. It feels like a bubble bar. You know they've got like different textures on Lush bath bombs. You can tell with Lush bath bombs which is a bubble bar and which is like a bath bomb because this is like really powdery and the bubble bars feel quite soapy. And this one feels quite soapy so I think this is a bubble bar. Usually you can get a couple of baths out of bubble bar so that's also really good as well so they last you a bit longer. And this one smells lovely it really does and it looks so cute as well I love it there's this bath bomb which smells so so nice that my hands are getting covered in this this is a bath bomb by the way and it's got a little holly in the middle of it and I just thought it looks so Christmassy and cute and the scent of it is just gorgeous I absolutely love it this one I'm really excited about and this is a bubble bar as well so it's like the gingerbread one that I just showed you it's a bubble bar you can get quite a few baths out of it and as you can see it's quite big as well so I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lot of baths out of this one and it is a cinnamon bubble bar and it smells lovely I love the smell of cinnamon the smell of cinnamon always reminds me of Christmas and I know we're going into like the new year now and by the time I get around to this will probably be like March or something but it does smell absolutely gorgeous and I love the smell of cinnamon and look how lovely the colours look as well. I just know that's going to turn the bath water into like a brown sludge but <laughs> it's going to smell so nice. So I'm really excited about that one as well. This is the last one I've got to show you guys and it's this penguin if it wants to focus and it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is one of the cutest Christmas ones that I saw on their website and it is literally going everywhere. I've got 
purple dust all over me right now but this one smells lovely as well and it looks so so cute and it's bigger than I thought it was as well and it's going to make the bath water into a lovely lilac colour and I love the colour lilac so that's really nice and yeah it just looks so cute. So the next gift that I got was some P. Louise makeup and as you can tell I've already been in this box and I've already tried some of the makeup out that my mum bought me and I've never tried any P. Louise makeup out before. This is my first time trying P. Louise and I haven't actually tried it out on my face yet because I'm still not ready to go back into doing makeup due to my sinus issues but I have tried them out on face charts and I currently do not have the face chart that I tried this out on with me. But I'll take, I, I have a picture, I'll put it on the screen for you guys right now and I'll show you the picture of the makeup. I'm sorry the face chart is not that great at all. I'm only just starting out with face charts again because of all this that's happening and I really miss doing makeup so I've sort of turned it into like an artwork kind of thing so yeah i have tried this out on paper but not on myself but the makeup is just so gorgeous the presentation of p louise makeup is insane and i've always wanted to try it uh, so this first palette that i got from p louise is the but does it come in pink and i love that my mum got me all the pinky sort of colors because obviously i love pink and like i said the presentation of like these palettes are just so lovely just wait till you see what the inside looks like and this is what the palette looks like on the inside look how gorgeous the placement is like from the dark to the lighter colors honestly so gorgeous I absolutely love it Some of these like shimmery shades are just so lovely really really nice and I can't wait to try it out on myself but obviously it's a little bit too scary for me to do that right now I will get to this as soon as I can I'm missing it so much all we can do is just appreciate the beauty of the palette and trying it out on face charts for now that is not the only palette that I received I got these three cassette player palettes from P. Louise as well and I got this it all started with the date night palette I haven't tried this one out yet although I have accidentally put my fingernail for it oops but look at how lovely those shades are and also what I love about these palettes is that they're super diverse like this isn't called like an eyeshadow palette or like a cheek palette or anything you can literally do whatever you want with these palettes which is what I absolutely love about them I think you'd probably call them like a pigment palette so I think they're actually really good for using for face charts for artwork on paper which I have really appreciated for trying them out this next cassette palette is we upgraded to a vacation got a lot of lovely sunset colors in this palette absolutely love the colors in this one it's sort of giving me very like sunset sort of vacation vibes which is basically what the palette says on the front a vacation and yeah I just love this this is such pretty presentation absolutely love the presentation of these and also the quality of the shades I mean let me just like swatch that for you look at the quality of the shades there's like pattern imprints on the shades as well which is so cute and they're also different for every palette too which I love like in this one there's like an aeroplane imprint and like a boat imprint for the vacation and for the date night one we've got hearts and stars and like plate and the knife and fork for dinner for like date night I just think it's a really nice touch and you can just tell that these were like really well thought through this last cassette palette is called the our final chapter was a wedding wish so all of the imprints on this one are going to be wedding related but just look how glam this palette looks perfect if you were doing your own makeup for your wedding you have all the shades here that you would want to create like that neutral smoky sort of eye with like these shimmers as well i just love it you can probably tell that i absolutely love this like i said those imprints are there there's the uh, engagement ring and the wedding bells as well you can just tell that this is really thought through like the packaging the quality there's a lot of love that's gone into this brand and i think that's why i love it so much and i've got a couple of more bits as well from p louise this is a lip liner i think this is quite a neutral color sorry i've already used this for creating a face chart i'll just 
swatch it that is what the color is right there and we also got a lip gloss and obviously i can't try this out on face chart but i could try this out myself right now i've already put a little bit of this on because my camera cut out earlier and my lips are like incredibly dry right now so i'll probably need this and it has an incredibly rich formula as well and it's just sort of like a clear gloss does it have like a shimmer to it or anything yeah it has like a little shimmer to it as well so i love that and again with the packaging just a lot of thought has gone into that there's like some texture on here as well like you can just tell a lot of love has gone into this brand definitely and as soon as i can get back to doing makeup again i will be trying these out these are very good for valentine's day makeup looks so i'm hoping that i can get some valentine's day looks up and running for february yeah as you can tell i've already used some of these brushes but they're really good quality brushes with very soft bristles and everything and they've got like pink handles i absolutely love them and there is a lot of different ones to choose from here a lot of blending brushes a lot of big fluffy brushes so yeah i'm very pleased with these as well that's all the makeup that i got from p louise for christmas my little brother got me these san rio earrings these are just like stud earrings so so cute i absolutely love them especially the cinema roll ones and the kiromi ones i absolutely love san rio as you can tell on the back of this jacket it literally has some moral in it so i am very sanrioed up today oh yeah i've got pom pom purin earrings in already too so i'm really excited to try out these i really love these stud earrings and i love sanrio this was also from my brothers and it's another piece of jewelry it is some earrings and it's cat fish hook earrings which i believe my older brother found and then put my little brother's name on the gift tag as well to say it's from both of them this is the design of the earring it's a little cat with a moon and it's got beautiful colors in it as well and i just love cat earrings so i was really pleased with these and i just love the colors of them as well it's like sort of like an ocean sort of color on it so i love them and I've been keeping them in this box for safekeeping. So another gift that I received from my mum also. This was from AliExpress apparently. It's this t-shirt and it says, Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. Can we all guess where that is from? Yeah, One Direction. <laughs> yeah, anybody who knows me, I absolutely love One Direction. And I love this top. It is very roomy as well in it. And yeah i'm very pleased with it i love it and it's a bright pink color and i love my bright colors so i'm very pleased with this and the way it fits and of course it has a one direction reference on it and i think it's very cute i love it very much and of course for any birthday and for any christmases i always get a funko pop so i when i saw the funko pop shaped gift i was wondering what sort of funko pop that i would get this year and i got my first san rio one it is this hello kitty one it is a christmas themed one but it doesn't look Christmas themed on the inside. She's literally just holding a gift, and but it doesn't look overly Christmassy, which is what I like. This is my first Sanrio Funko Pop, so I'm really excited that I managed to get one. So thank you so much to my mum again, who found this for me. And I'm going to take them out of the box because I, I don't keep them in the box. I keep the boxes, like I put the boxes in the storage room, but I do not keep them inside the box. I always put them on display in the background you can see a couple of my Funko Pops in the background there that's where it's going to live probably where Strange Things Mike is because there's not much room on the shelf up there I'm going to get another shelf to put next to that one to sort of space out my Funko Pops but that will be in the future and this is the Funko Pop it is the Hello Kitty one and she's got like a little hoodie hat on and she's holding a gift and like I said it doesn't look overly Christmassy but it will be nice to have out at Christmas to make my room look a little bit more festive but it doesn't look overly Christmassy so I will be having it up all year round I absolutely love Sanrio and I love Funko Pops so I'm happy to have my first Sanrio Funko Pop so you've probably noticed in the background that I've got a few new posters and pictures on my wall I'll be showing you guys them in a second i just wanted to touch on one of the gifts that i got for christmas that i half bought for myself and that is i got a new phone i got the newest iphone 15 for christmas the one that came out in september last year and i still have my other phone and i'm still using it it's my downtime 
phone. I've got games and everything on it now and I'll probably use it on days where I need a break from like my work phone. This is basically my work phone now and my parents said that they'd love to contribute to get me a new phone because I've been talking about getting a new phone with my own money but they said that they'd be happy to contribute so they paid half towards this new phone for me and I paid a little more than half for it for a gift for myself so this is my new iPhone 15 it is well and truly protected I'm always super scared that I'm going to scratch it or <laughs> drop it and crack it it's just such an expensive phone for anything like that to happen throughout my school life throughout my college life I never had expensive phones until I started creating content obviously I create a lot of short video content that needs to be created with my phone so this is like really important to me so it is <laughs> really well and truly protected it has a screen protector which I bought from Timu and it has a camera protector as well on the back so it doesn't get like smashed or ruined or scratched and I've got this Kiromi case and I've got a couple more cases that I bought from Timu I bought this other Kiromi case from Timu and I bought this Spider-Man, oh, I bought this Spider-Man case from Timu but it doesn't really fit very well around the camera protector, this Spider-Man one. So I'm not sure if I'll use that again but these silicone ones fit really good around it and like I said, I'm really really pleased with it and it was a very expensive gift but I'm really grateful to have had my parents to uh, help me out with it but it has been through a lot of use already I am a snapchat content creator as well so I use my phone a lot for that and I just use my phone a lot for work I definitely needed an upgrade and I'm really happy that I got one the camera on this is amazing as well uh, that was the main reason why I wanted to upgrade to get a better camera for my videos so I can put up better quality content and the camera on this is it's just so good so I'm really pleased with this and thank you so much to my parents who helped me out getting me this and also I'm really fortunate to be in a position that I can like put money towards a new phone like a really expensive phone like this and that is all thanks to the people who watch me online so I really wanted to say thank you to you guys as well for helping me get to this point <laughs> so I can actually make purchases like this so Thank you. But let's move on to the posters and the pictures that I got for Christmas. And the first poster is the Faith in the Future poster, which I've got in the background here. I'll get up and show you guys that now. Like, if you didn't know, I am a really big fan of Louis Tomlinson. And this is just a little poster that my dad got me with Faith in the Future. It's from one of his shows that he did in Brighton in November. So I've got that on my wall next to Harry Styles Eros. Next to my YouTube plaque, we have a Louis Tomlinson picture, a framed Louis Tomlinson picture, but not any old Louis Tomlinson picture. It is signed. It is officially signed by Louis Tomlinson. And one moment, if you do not believe me, I have a certificate of authenticity it is an authenticated signed photo of louis it was signed back in 2020 when he performed in london i can't remember where it was i'll put it on the screen for you guys right now but it was authenticated this was from somebody's collection of celebrity autographs that they were selling on ebay they've been doing it for years i have now an authentically signed picture of louis on my wall and obviously it's taking pride of place next to my youtube plaque obviously <laughs> so yeah i'm really pleased with this gift it was actually got for me from my dad which is really good for him because he never normally knows what to get me but he's the one who found it and yeah i'm so so pleased with it it was definitely one of my favorite gifts i opened it on well it was technically christmas but it was on christmas eve uh, it was like midnight on christmas day i opened this gift and I was just over the moon. I was so, so happy about it. So, yeah, that was one of my favourite gifts. And we have a bit of Louis in our room with us right now. Like, his presence is basically in my room right now. I'm, like, I've basically met Louis Tomlinson, even though I haven't. But <laughs> I basically have. So, yeah, I think 
Christmas gift wise that is everything that I got for Christmas I just wanted to say how grateful I am for everything that I received and how catered to me all these gifts are I'm really 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 pleased with everything and I have the best family who look out for me and actually really listen to what I love and everything so I'm very very grateful for all of the gifts that I received for Christmas and now we're on to the New Year's resolutions part of my video I usually don't make a lot of new year's resolutions they're more goals because i feel like if i do too many new year's resolutions it's just a lot of pressure throughout the year but i have made some and i feel like they're realistic enough for me to stick to throughout the year and not like forget about them completely like a lot of people end up doing with new year's resolutions i just wanted to make them realistic and the goals realistic for myself as well without putting too much pressure on so the first one is to not engage with any negative or mean comments on my social medias that is one rabbit hole that i just kept falling down in 2023 and i just don't want that to happen this year and i have been really good so far i have stopped myself from responding to people dms comments i've just stopped myself just for my own mental health and just to keep me positive because i think that's just one of the things that contributed to my negative mood last year is like dealing with mean comments and responding and responding to them always makes it worse it really does it never helps people once they've got something in their head especially if it's something negative once they've got that in their head there's no change in their mind and you whatever you say no matter how much context you give them or how much you explain yourself they well they won't change their minds that is the mindset that i have coming into 2024 is to just not engage not engage at all just leave it and focus on the positive comments which is what i was doing before but i was also given the same amount of attention to the negative comments as well and i do not want to do that this year so on every platform on youtube facebook snapchat instagram tiktok i do not want to engage with any of those negative or hateful comments this year i'm just going to keep living in my positivity bubble and just protect myself from that because at the end of the day what is the point <laughs> even engaging with them so yeah that is definitely a number one new year's resolution for me and i've been really good at it so far and it is the 5th of january today so i'm going to try and keep up throughout the year and hopefully it has a positive impact on my mental health i think this is the only other new year's resolution that i have is to keep up with my walking last year in the summer i started walking like every day or it depends on the weather to be honest because it's been raining a lot so i can't really get to it but i am looking into getting like an exercise bike for my room so it's more like keeping up exercise every day because it makes me feel really good it's never been anything to do with losing weight for me it's just the way it makes me feel mentally and physically it's just been so much better for me and it's such a good choice that i made in the summer last year it just made me feel so much better so i am going to carry on with that this year and i've been doing really good so far i did a four mile walk the other day just in my back garden i mean that is insane so i really enjoy doing the walking and it also gives me a chance to listen to my music and just clear my head as well so i am going to keep up with that this year not to the extreme if it does get too intense for me obviously i will give myself a break i want to keep up with it because it is having a positive impact on myself and exercise is just so important i feel like so yeah that is definitely going to be something that i'm going to carry on doing this year which i was doing last year so it's just carrying that on basically and not giving up on that the rest of these are just goals like <laughs> they're not really new year's resolutions they're like 2024 goals so the first goal that i have is to hit 10,000 followers on instagram that is a goal that i've had forever on instagram but i actually feel like it'll be achievable this year because i am currently at 5,000 uh, just over 5,000 actually on instagram it's always been a really hard app for me to like gain followers on but it's really did really well at the end of last year i mean i had i think in the september i think i had like 2000 followers on instagram and then it just jumped up really really quickly and by november i had like 3000 more and i was at 5000 it was crazy one of my videos blew up and it was <laughs> it was like honestly insane so i feel like that is actually a realistic goal that i've got for myself this year i'm just doing really well on instagram at the minute i finally have cracked the algorithm they absolutely love instagram reels so i'm going to utilize that as much as possible and i actually haven't gone back into creating short form content yet i wanted to do some of my youtube stuff first 
but I will be going back into short form content very shortly and I'm really excited to get into that. Hopefully 10,000 followers I hit this year because that's always a goal of mine that I've wanted to hit. Hopefully 2024 is the year for that. And the next one, Snapchat is like my main platform. I have 75,000 followers on there, which is quite a large following to have on like an app that people don't really know that you can content create on. And it's something that I sort of started doing casually <laughs> like on snapchat and then it sort of like picked up like out of nowhere it was crazy and it's a really fun app to like create on but one of my goals this has been my goal for like many years but i didn't think it would be reachable and i do think it is reachable this year just because of how well it's doing i'm really working towards becoming a snap star on snapchat which is basically like a verification badge on any other social media platform i have been watching snapchat creators for years even before I started content creating and I always wished that could be me and that is now me that, that is me on that platform and that is absolutely insane to me that I can even content create on an app that actually caused me a lot of stress when I was a teen I was so close to deleting it before I realized that I could content create on there with spotlight and snap story and I really started focusing on that and it sort of became more fun for me in my teens like people people like kids are just so cruel and they use snapchat to be even more cruel <laughs> if you know if you know what i mean like with the screenshotting and the deleting chats it was it was a lot for me as a teenager and i was so so close to getting rid of it but i i didn't and i have still got my account that i've had since i was 16 and if i went back and told my 16 year old self that i was making the content that i wish that i was making back then she she'd think that's crazy she would <laughs> so i am i'm really pleased that everything that's happened on there and i do think it's achievable this year if i carry on doing what i'm doing on there so fingers crossed to becoming a snap star on snapchat this year we'll revisit these new year's resolutions at the end of the year and see if it actually happens but that is one of my main goals so i am going to be working towards that and if you want to help me to work towards these goals then in my caption below i do link my link tree which contains links to all of my social medias you can keep up with me on them as well if you wish i'm not forcing you to do anything this these are just like personal goals to me that i'm quite excited for so yeah, that is all of my goals and New Year's resolutions for 2024. We will revisit this at the end of the year and see how well I did. Obviously, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself to reach these goals. If I don't reach them, it's not the end of the world. These are sort of more realistic goals that I think that I'd be able to hit but we'll see what happens. A lot of the goals that I have set myself at the beginning of 2023 last year, uh, they, they were just super unrealistic. I don't think I even hit half of them, to be honest. So that's kind of the reason why I haven't put too much emphasis on it this year. So these are all like realistic goals that I feel like I'll be able to hit a lot of them this year. So we'll see how it goes. And again, no pressure. No pressure for these New Year's resolutions or goals. I just hope that these are the things that go well in 2024 and that everything just goes the way that I would like. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of more chatty than my other videos, but I really wanted to do this one with my Christmas gifts and New Year's resolutions isn't really something that I talk about, but I thought I would this year and I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up because it really does help out my YouTube channel. And if you're into makeup or plus size fashion, then remember to subscribe to my channel because that is everything that I do here. And if you want to check out any of my social medias to help me hit my milestones this year, or if you're just interested in checking any of those out there is a link to my link tree in the caption below which contains all of them so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye